Macedonia's parliament has approved a constitutional amendment to change the country's name to the Republic of North Macedonia. Prime Minister Zorin Ziv narrowly secured the two-thirds majority needed in the historic vote amid a boycott by opposition nationalists. Protesters outside parliament denounced what they called an act of treason. The name change is aimed at ending a 27-year dispute with Greece, which has its own region called Macedonia. The Greek parliament must now give its approval and a deal signed by Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras and Mr. Ziv in June that will lift Athens, the till on Macedonia's base, to join NATO and the European Union. A new historical chapter in our statehood has been written this evening, the Macedonian government said in a statement. It makes absolutely plausible two of our biggest state interests membership in NATO and the EU. 81 deputies voted in favor of the change in the 120 seat chamber. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg held the vote, saying the alliance strongly supports the full implementation of the agreement, which is an important contribution to a stable and prosperous region. Johannes Hong, the EU Commissioner in charge of enlargement, said, I hope that this historic decision creates a positive, dynamic far reconciliation in the whole Western Balkan region. Mr. Cyprus called Mr. Ziv to congratulate him on the successful conclusion of the process to revise the constitution of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. His office said, more than 90% of Macedonian voters backed the name changing a non-binding referendum in September, but the vote was rendered invalid due to low turnout. When Macedonia declared independence during the breakup of Yugoslavia in 1991, Greece objected to its new neighbor's name. Present-day Macedonia and northern Greece were part of a Roman province called Macedonia, and both claimed the heritage of Alexander the Great two centuries earlier. Greece's objections forced the United Nations to refer to the new country as the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Athens also vetoed Macedonia's attempt to join NATO in 2008 and blocked its new membership ambitions. Since 1991, many suggestions have been proposed, then rejected. But a change of government in Macedonia in 2017 finally brought the start of serious negotiations, which led to the deal reached last year. Under the agreement, the country's language will be called Macedonian, and its people known as Macedonians, citizens of the Republic of Mars Macedonia. The new name will be used both internationally and bilaterally, so that even the 140 AMA countries that recognize the name Macedonia will also have to adopt North Macedonia. In Macedonian, the name is Severna Macedonia. Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with kids to their necks. The country's interior ministry said both bodies were found near the town of Emilia in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Dabko. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths. The interior ministry statement said. A poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi repeatedly after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of deer. Missouri hunter David Barry Jr. must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. 
He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence for the illegal deer hunting, Judge Robert George ordered Barry J. R. to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi with the first viewing being on a uh, before December 24, 2018, and at least one such viewing each month thereafter. During his spell in prison, the 1940 true cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunter kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi, a months-long investigation spanning several states. Led to the arrest of Barry J. R. His father David Barry, Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry. According to local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader, while the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown, Lawrence County's conservation agent Andy Barnes said it could be several hundred. Barry J. R. received a year long sentence in Lawrence County Prison after Pleading guilt to illegally taking wildlife, he has also been sentenced to a one to zero day term in Barton County Prison for a firearms probation violation. And both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company tour. Show solidarity with Hu Awai's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in Eastern Han and Province said it would waive the $9.40.65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awai phone. Ms. Meng, who was given bail in Canada. Faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has upped tensions with China. U.S. Who are we phones? Should grant photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, "We wish friends around the world who support who are we success in the bliss. The affair would last until 29 December." The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among Chinese social media users who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are we? Phone owners are being offered other enticements too. They can get a 20% discount at a bar in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a Who are we? Phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story. We covered yesterday's TPS T K Q X L one I Y P Q L P K Twitter com Sakura Love end of Twitter post by at Lu Xinji. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpada Shenzhen, based on Latin the display manufacturer, offered. Subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors alleged Ms. May. 46. Used a Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2009 and 2014. They also allege she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Meng, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying heiress. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 
believing that it yields the SkyCom to bring the United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. This man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive. Since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against Ms. Men if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing. What's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary," he told the Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process or use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice. Foreign Minister Christie of Freeland said, "The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab in six air strikes in Somalia."